Hi, this is John, once again with John's Journey Journal, and uh, I decided to go back to Costa Rica. And by go back, I mean talk about my pitchers again. I had a lot of gold pitchers, uh, perhaps too many, and I only fit like two or three on the blog, so I wanted to show you them for completion's sake. So... Here's the gold museum outside itself. It's, you know, barred and heavily underground, too, because this is ground level right here. Uh, and it was actually a bank that controlled the museum. And you'll take a look at some of the pieces, and uh, later on we'll see that it's actually like a really banky bank, it's in a vault. So just some nice pieces. Uh, later on I'll show you a diagram of a guy wearing some of these. Uh, they have different animals they look at. Uh, just different like phoenixes and rituals that they would use these in. I have to go pretty quick because there is like 20 pitchers. Frogs were a big deal. The bigger the size of the frog, the more important the individual was. A bone necklace, I think. Perhaps not. Nothing to narrate too much. If I'm going too fast, you can always stop the video. They had a recreation of a, a burial site. I don't know if these were real ones. Also, I don't know why there wouldn't be a skeleton in comparison to the gold remaining there. Seems like a weird thing for the loot hoarders to, to loot. Gold objects, peg statue, were the most outstanding forms of armanship elaborated by the complex societies of southeastern Costa Rica. Yep, they had a lot of different shields. I'm wondering if that's like a family crust or something. I know they gave these similar ones to shamans, or more important individuals. And they would actually break these when the person died. So I don't know how these remain intact. Uh, maybe it was, they were stolen, pillaged or something. Very detailed. Nice craftsmanship. Just room full of these, and I would each picture would be, you know, just one panel. Just kind of shows the that last picture was just uh, showing the location and raw material. Really incredible sight with all this gold. Yeah, I hadn't seen as, as much gold in my life anyways. Here's a example of how they would wear these gold pieces. The headband, the earrings, the neck thing, <laughs> a disc, shoulder, sphere, and then ankle bracelets. Maybe this was a form of armor. Although gold makes really terrible armor. Okie dokie. Kind of like a antelope. Their pipes. Hmm. 
more of those V-shaped winged emblems. More of those crest, maybe shields, I don't know. And these are all different pictures of the different segments. It's, they may look similar, but I'm not repeating them. There's a broken one. A very elaborate one. And I didn't catch all of that, otherwise I'd read it right now. Some objects were designed to hold mountings or bear encrustions. The setting was wax model, and quartz is a type of stone or object to be inserted. Polished stones and resin of diverse colors. Sometimes it was built matched. Pieces decoration there. It's cool. I know this is a jaguar. It's a bat. Bells. Very cool. Very elaborate. This seemed to be the most common shape. I mean, along with these, these crests. Lots and lots of those. Necklaces as well. Breastplate. Told you there was a lot of pictures. I don't know what these are. Wind chimes? No. Don't know. Interesting though. These are very large pieces. Frogs. Very cool looking frogs. More shields, more dragons, crocodile, and then yeah, it was in a vault, so they'd make sure you'd stay in there. They also had other art too, but that's for another time. Alright, thanks. Hope you enjoyed.